In college, uh, I actually went to Penn State University. You know, I was you know afforded to to play underneath a great coach uh, like Larry Johnson, who was our defensive line coach, and Joe Paterno. You know, I I was able to make uh, All American. I was able to make. Uh, First team Big Ten twice. I was able to be Big Ten Player of the Year, uh, Defensive Player of the Year. Um, so you know, I, I worked hard and got lucky. The second I got drafted, it was uh, it was a pretty surreal feeling. Uh, I was invited to New York to the draft, to the actual draft, and uh, it was a great experience. It was you know like a four or five day experience. And uh, the, the actual time I got drafted, when I had I had leaned over to my at that time agent. Uh, and I had said to him, I said, what's, what's, a, what's a 954 number? Where's that from? It ended up being uh, Jeff Ireland, uh, our general manager, giving me a call and asking if I want to be a Dolphin. You know, since training here at Impact Sports Performance, I've realized how important it is to get into a training regiment, even in the preseason or spring football. Uh, there's a lot of things that I came came into uh, with ideas of what may or may not happen here. Um, you know, I knew some of the trainers here and I, I knew what type of work ethic they had from before and playing college football with them. One of the reasons I came to Impact Sports Performance uh, was a guy named uh, Patrick Marty. Um, he's a trainer here and uh, I, I played college football with him. Um, I was roommates with his brother uh, in college who's now in the draft this year. I've trained with a lot of trainers in a lot of places down here in South Florida and all over the country. Uh, but when you have shared experiences with somebody and you know where the, they came from and they know where you came from, it really does mean a lot to you. What I found in my best training is that when you get personalized training uh, and the attention to detail that really needs to be given and them to you know keep on you stay on you for the rhythm of your workout the pace of your workout how many reps you're doing and, and guys like Patrick you know have uh, you know, definitely put me in a position you know not to walk away from hard work the exercise the anterior reach is, is really has really helped me out a lot um, you know I've improved in that specific exercise by leaps and bounds you know when I first got here um, you know I couldn't I couldn't balance on one foot and do that movement and since you know being here and working at it week after week and day after day, you know I'm able to do it on what they call a Bosu ball, which is you know a ball filled with air that you know is supposed to keep you off balance. And uh, you know it's it's little things like that that you know really show how much improvement I've made in these past couple of weeks here. Joe Paterno um, always said the same, some of the same quotes over and over again. And one of them that really stuck with me was you know. You know, every day we would come in there and work, and every day we would go to practice, and every day we would, you know, lift weights, and every, every day that we would go to class. You know, you say you either get better, or you get worse. And uh, and I know a lot of people that I still know and still talk to that play with me at Penn State. You know, that really stuck with them as well. And I think that really translates into everything other than you know just sports or football. Being stagnant is getting worse. Uh, whether that's a person, football player, uh, whatever business you're in, or whatever you know. Uh, Whatever avenue of life you've taken, you know, getting better or getting worse is something that's really stuck with me throughout the years. You, know, you hate to talk numbers uh, when you're talking about something that you love doing, but it's a part of the business and, and uh, a part of the business and, and getting new contracts and making more money is taking yourself physically to the next level. And that's what I'm doing here at Impact Sports. Yeah.